Artificial intelligence will be used for breast cancer screening in at least one hospital in Singapore, so patients can get faster and more accurate detection. This is as women who have gone for breast cancer screening here remains much lower than other developed nations. That is despite the disease being the most common cancer among women here. Around 3 in 10 Singapore women aged between 50 and 69 had gone for breast cancer screening in the past few years. That is according to the latest National Population Health Survey. In other developed countries such as Denmark, the rate is as high as 8 in 10. Breast cancer affects 1 in 13 women in Singapore and doctors say early detection can significantly improve survival rates. Currently at Tan Tok Seng Hospital, patients can undergo an X-ray of their breasts to screen for cancer. We are doing a lot of pilot studies and research studies, especially centered around artificial intelligence. And we're hoping to incorporate artificial intelligence with our current facilities such as mammography or ultrasonography to help in better detection of breast cancer or high-risk lesions so they may guide our treatment for uh, patients as well and guide their further journey. To mark 15 years of its breast clinic, Tan Tok Seng Hospital also launched a volunteer-driven program that provides handcrafted breast prostheses for free. This is for women who have undergone breast removal. The hospital says this can improve patients' mental well-being as they recover. It hopes to train up to more staff over the next two to three years to knit the prosthetics for their own patients. And for more, we're joined by Dr. Priyanka Rajendram. She is clinical head of cancer prevention and control at the Singapore Cancer Society. Dr. Rajendram, welcome to Singapore tonight. Um, looking at the numbers, three in ten Singaporean women screened for breast cancer screening in the past few years. Why are the numbers so low? What could be some of the reasons women are not going for them? Yes, th thanks, Shahida. Thank you for having me on the show. Um, at the Singapore Cancer Society, we see the low screening rates not as medical non-compliance, but rather as a reflection of the very human experience of navigating healthcare decisions amid real concerns about the diagnosis, the cost of treatment, discomfort or pain with the procedure, time constraints, life circumstances, cultural beliefs and also stigma. So, for example, from the many breast cancer campaigns and outreach events we have held in the community, we still commonly encounter women who have the misconception that screening is only for those who have symptoms, rather than for early detection, especially before symptoms arise. So, our approach honours the lived reality of women in Singapore by creating supportive spaces where people feel genuinely heard, guided and empowered to make screening decisions that align with their values and circumstances. And in doing so, we hope to create opportunities to truly transform what could be a clinical obligation into a meaningful act of personalised self-care. Uh, how critical is early screening in the fight against uh, breast cancer? I mean, what kind of impact does it have on treatment outcomes and survival rates? Yeah, I mean, you know, we strongly believe that early screening saves lives and is really crucial in the fight against breast cancer. Uh, the good news is that Singapore data from the latest Cancer Registry report shows that nearly three quarters of cases detected were at the earlier stages and the more treatable stages. But there is still a sizable proportion of cases, almost around 11 to 12 percent, that are diagnosed at the most advanced stage, resulting in poorer outcomes. Now, the five-year survival rates actually can exceed 90 percent for early-stage breast cancers detected through screening, as this enables more effective less aggressive treatment and significantly improves long-term survival outcomes and uh, improves quality of life as well. So to enable this, SES also believes in complementing Healthy SG in making screening accessible, especially for those in need. And this is why we offer mammograms at no cost to blue and orange chart card holders at our SES uh, clinic at Bishan. And we have also partnered with the National Healthcare Group Diagnostics and Breast Cancer Foundation to run the community Memobus program, which, bris, which brings breast screenings directly to where the women are in the community. Uh, we, we also understand, uh, Dr. Rajendram, that screening technology has evolved over the past few years. Uh, what are some of the latest advanced technologies being used, um, including the use of AI tools, such as those being explored by the hospital at Tan Tok Seng? 
Yeah, I mean, you know, technological advances in breast screening, uh, such as like with digital mammography, have really delivered more accurate and faster results with reduced recall rates and improved detection of smaller cancers, particularly in women with dense breast tissue. And in recent years with artificial intelligence or AI, uh, there is, this has also been increasingly integrated uh, into breast screening to assist radiologists with detecting subtle abnormalities, flagging suspicious lesions that might be missed by the human eye, and also prioritizing cases that require urgent attention. So all of this can lead to earlier and more accurate diagnosis, reduce false positives and unnecessary biopsies, therefore making the screening process more efficient and reassuring for patients. So at SCS, we are always exploring how such new advances can make screenings more accessible, especially among vulnerable populations, and improve the screening experience and uptake among women. The most sophisticated screening technology will only succeed in encouraging participation when it's really offered within a framework uh, that acknowledges and addresses fundamental human behaviours and concerns that drive healthcare choices in the first place. So we always look to see, uh, we always look to assess the acceptability of such screening advances as well, um, to see uh, how our women and the, the women that we interact with actually accept them. Uh, do, do you think faster and more accurate detection would help encourage more women to get screened? Yeah, so, you know, of course, it definitely will help in terms of uh, if, if, uh, if these faster tests or if these tests can help to reduce the procedural discomfort that comes with, like, the traditional mammograms that are being used currently. Um, but ultimately, again, for us to look at the human behaviours that still form a big part of how we make healthcare decisions, even if we know that there is a, 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 a more advanced screening technology out there, uh, we need to know the, the acceptability and how, how women would actually um, uh, adopt these screening advances uh, amidst their busy lifestyles, amidst their time constraints. Uh, it could be faster and more effective, uh, but uh, ultimately, you know, um, we, there are still other concerns as well that have to be addressed. And so, uh, it could potentially be something that would be useful uh, and has to be assessed further. Uh, before we wrap up, Dr. Rajendram, what advice would you give um, women and to men when it comes to breast health and early detection? Yeah, I mean, you know, in alignment with Healthy SG as well, SES, we really believe in prevention. So in addition to maintaining a healthy lifestyle, please go for your screenings. Uh, eligible women can get their mammogram screenings at their nearest Healthy SG clinics or pay a visit to the SES clinic at Bishan. Uh, if you're unsure about even how to make that first step, you can also call the SES hotline at 1-800-727-3333. Uh, in addition to that, you, everybody should learn how to do uh, self, uh, breast self-examination. So both men and women should be aware of changes in their breasts, such as lumps, uh, skin changes, nipple changes, or any unusual discharge. Uh, and prompt medical attention should be sought if any of these uh, are noticed. Uh, but last but not least, I think in SCS's research and experience as well, uh, women who perceive themselves to be important to their family members and who were encouraged by their loved ones to go for screening were actually more likely to accept and adopt breast cancer screening. So men and women everywhere really should act as advocates and support their loved ones to go for screening, and it just might save their lives. Thank you very much for your advice, Dr. Rajendram. Dr. Priyanka Rajendram, the Clinical Head of Cancer Prevention and Control at the Singapore Cancer Society.